What's up guys? This is the Braveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And to pick up where we left off our force, it's marching deep into native territory, has been intercepted at, intercepted at the river uh, by an advanced force set out to protect the city. So we will engage them and hopefully push them back and secure the American continent in the in the west. So let us let us attack. Um, hopefully, if it's a river battle, then that would be pretty beneficial for us because we could set up those kill boxes outside of the uh, the crossing points and because we have artillery and they don't then they will be forced to advance towards us uh, sadly not and they do have a significant oh god it's an ambush quick 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 Get my cavalry in. These gunners get out of the way. So we've hit the Native American warriors to up there. Lots of our troops on the flank need to actually be pretty do some pretty significant stuff for us force may our force may ultimately be destroyed hopefully we can destroy this warrior society Okay, the name of the game, I think, is going to be using our regiment of horse to hold on while we likely retreat our line back as much as possible out of the danger zone. So a portion of our artillery needs to be surrendered. You men get back. My cavalry needs to be sacrificed. My general needs to just run. Obviously my howitzers are done for. No, don't be drawn into the melee fight. You've got to fall back. Bring our cavalry back. The regiment of horse will not last long against those troops there. You men might do reasonably well against the horse guards. The cavalry, I mean, that cavalry just, just has to fight and hold on. These two units have to engage these native units. This 12 pounder artillery piece is going to run. They are warrior society, so they will provide us with some problems. Let's get my general's bodyguard out on the flank here. So you fired a volley into the warrior society and now you must engage. I mean our artillery pieces are just going to try and run back to the line. Let's get our cuirassier back because it looks like they are beginning to run into some skirmish issues. You're going to be engaging the bowmen. Let's get our cuirassier back. That will really help. If you guys can break the warrior society, that would be amazing. Let's try and push our general in. We've got a lot of bow units here to knock out. Yeah, unsurprising that a number of our units do not like the engagements that are currently ongoing. General's bodyguard charged down that unit of native bowmen these men to form ranks let's 
So they are routing. The Warrior Society will still cause us issues. We must fall back. The line units pivot to allow our gunners some freedom of manoeuvre. Ah, Crassier routed. The general has fallen in combat with the Warrior Society. Understandable. So we've got Warrior Society on the flank. There's a large number of them are routing still. As our infantry continues to hold on. We use our cavalry as a decoy for this Warrior Society on the flank. New men form square. Understandably, they did not like that engagement. The Warrior Society are wavering. They've fallen. Our infantry unit on the flank has fallen. Alright, you guys get out of here. Book it. Absolutely book it. <laughs> Gah! The native factions, you've got to be careful. Oh, and their reinforcements coming in behind us as well. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> ah, well. They have, repelled, they have repelled us. Retreat. Don't fight them, retreat. And again, like, some, some of these units seem to be... They'll retreat once they've been... Well, they will fail to retreat once they've been engaged. Yeah, God, that was really brutal. Yeah, well. They shall suffer. We will continue the push. We will not allow them to... Uh, we will not allow the uh, the native tribes to survive. And if that means sending forward scout armies, made up of cavalry, spe specifically designed to be chopped up, then so be it. So the Mughal Empire are continuing to shuffle men around, and that's weird that I'm getting notifications mid, um, mid, mid turn. That shouldn't happen. So they really, really want to fill up that port with Mughal troops, which you know, good luck to them. It does leave you to wonder how long we're going to spend watching the Mughal Empire move troops around. I mean, they've just got, they've got a huge number of troops. But it looks like Boston and Maine are actually going to be quite accessible now to our forces. Again, why is it telling me about a raid that's... Hmm. That's odd. That's mighty odd. Just the Iroquois are re rebelling against the Mughal Empire. And they are still attempting to resist us west of the river. Oh, a Mughal fleet has started to do something. Uh, attack our ships down to the south. Very well. Didn't really expect them to live. Ah, there is a Mughal army on board a ship. And again, they are roughly combining their uh, armies together, which is nice. Gathering around Lahore. Hmm. Yeah, so that army is on the march. Are you going to land anywhere? Okay, it looks like you're going to land in Guyana. So we will take care of you, but whether or not it will be this episode or not, I'm not sure. Um, I'll probably end this episode sending one of my fleets to attack. Again, why am I getting live updates about them sabotaging my buildings? Their rune is massively exposed. They've even pulled back from the river. There's a minor garrison there, but nothing... Significant. No, I'm not going to pay you for peace. <laughs> oh, they're chasing down the remnants of my army. Uh, yeah. Chomp. <laughs> Fair enough. We haven't forgotten about you, Plains Nations, though. We are going to come and get you. We just might not do it at quite the same... With the level of, same level of priority now. Oh man, yeah, this is a bug turn because it's showing me loads of individual buildings <laughs> constructed. Ok, 
case. That army has been destroyed. So you're there. You're a bunch of militia. So we've got plenty of fights to do. Let's get this army Quebec to recruit. How many do you need? Two. Two more colonial line. Let's fall and yield Ferraro back so he doesn't get surrounded by Mughal troops. Falmouth's a natural target because it's completely exposed. But first of all, I want to go over to India because that's where the priorities are. Fabiano Castelli is replenishing. I'm going to push him up to take out that small force in the gardens there. We lost 800 men, so that's significantly more than if we fought it ourselves. But you men can push up to help support them. Got a couple of armies here that are going to be ripe for the destruction. Can you guys... can't leave my source. I might um, bring them... or oh, exempt them from tax. Let's put a church school in our cots. Again, they're all still rebuilding. Flavio Castiglione may end up pushing up to attack these two troops here and I might move this army within range to support them. Whereas in the mainland, or the main front, we've got Dele Venturi, who is going to, because he's already depleted, he's going to demand the, well, he's going to attack Nerun. So the territory is ours, it gives us some visibility of what's going on across the river. So let's rebuild the government building and replenish the army. Let's take Michel Contarini, make him rush south to try and secure the bridge. You men need to replenish and secure that crossing. Same with you. And same with... Well, you can probably push down to the south itself. Let's get into the steam dry dock and repair it. Upgrade the church school, bring this priest forward to Nerun. Move this force up to the front. Let's repair the pleasure garden here. So we've got a number of a number of battles to fight in the north. Um, so I suggest probably working top to bottom because we've got to attack this force, Rambo commanded by Rambara, crossing the river. We've got this force here that needs to be destroyed, as well as a force to the rear. You could potentially. Right, so you can get up to the crossing point. Bartolomeo Asamani, can you guys do. Yes! Srinagar is exposed, so you can demand the surrender there. And it means in future we can recruit and spread out some Gurkhas to our armies, which would be pretty damn awesome. So let's take Baldassare Minicello to hit Rambara, guarding the crossing over the river in the north so then we've we've closed we, we've shut down the number of places the Mughals can actually cross the river and attack us so these crossings are pretty pretty crucial to take to maintain that level of control over the Mughal Empire so we yeah, I want to focus on India for now except until the end of this episode where I'll start the next one fighting the Navy in the south, in the southern Atlant South Atlantic, Southern Atlantic, the South Atlantic, so I don't forget. So my guns limber up. We'll be ready to fire. My howitzers be ready to fire because we are going to be crossing the river. So on the right flank, let's take five units of infantry at the bridge. It's five units of infantry. The crossing, it's. We've taken six. Okay, I probably want to actually want to split that up a bit differently because the bridge is a it's well it's narrower, so I want to try and sit, get the bulk of my units crossing over the wider crossing point. But my general, however, will cross over the river, the bridge. So with our artillery providing covering fire. Ooh, quite comprehensive covering fire as well. So let's get one of my howitzers to open up against the Agurka unit, another unit to hit 
pretty much focus on the right flank because it's over the bridge that we are most susceptible to getting trapped. Fortunately, we are crossing over in numbers and they haven't immediately rushed to try and defeat us. They're content to be walking at, well, continuing to, to advance at walking pace. Good. See, look, that's, that's an, that would be a beautiful quick climb target if I was the enemy. But it looks like we are going to successfully cross. It's two general's bodyguard units. Yeah, you do have. You do indeed have two general's bodyguard units. Because as we've made over safely, we can begin to get our units to actually spend their time trying to uh, form up into a more realistic battle line. Same again on this flank. Again, they're going to deploy quite deep because we don't have the need to spread out and do such a surrounding... Well, to, we don't really have the need to surround and destroy the enemy. I am content with pushing them back and securing the ground. I mean, it looks like we are going to fairly comprehensively destroy this force anyway, simply due to our overwhelming artillery strength. Oh, general's <laughs> the general's change is crossing point. So the general's bodyguard is advancing towards the river. Yeah, he was he was going to be soundly engaged by my line. Get him killed, actually. There they are. They're fleeing from my from my weaker force, advancing in. Oh my god, advancing in a tight group where Quicklime has just devastated their strength. Okay, let's get all my cavalry out here, because we may as well put them to work, including getting my general over here, because it looks like they've all abandoned the... abandoned their uh, commander. The Gurkhas are going to attempt to engage, but they are one of the only units to do so. So hence will pay they will pay the penalty. Who charged here? Unit of Levy. Artillery. Ceasefire. We're gonna continue. It's not gonna end it's not gonna take very long to end though. You might want to try and wheedle out the yeah, Kizzle Bashy, although they're probably going to successfully rout. Can you guys fire it well off? Because now we've taken Trinagar, there will be no more Gurkhas eligible for recruitment. Two Kizzle Bashy men there, that's not bad. These guys are going to attempt to route through our line, which will be very unfortunate for them. So much so I might turn these guys fire it well on in case they try to run the other way. You guys hopefully can knock out... there we go, it's both those Gurkhas destroyed. Shrapnel shot the levy. Ceasefire. There's only two of them left, and they they are they can't decide which direction to route, which is a terrible shame for them. But it does mean that they become pretty susceptible to uh, my artillery and musketry. Poor soul. Really doesn't want, doesn't know which way he wants to route. Got him. So that's the crossing secured.
So now our forces can mass behind it, ready for the offensive. We've lost 12 men and they have 51 remaining. There we go, Baldazare. Good job. So then we can mass troops to the rear. Some good traits gained. Lots of buildings constructed. So we probably want to take... Actually, maybe take you, because your army is actually pretty inexperienced. So run to the northeast and then attack Muhammad Abdullah to make sure... I'm not going to auto-resolve it, because I want to make sure that we kill them with the minimal fuss, because I want to maintain pressure on, in the, on the Indian northwest the same way I'm maintaining pressure pretty much everywhere. Everywhere on their front. Um, because, well, the Mughals have but loads of troops in America. And I think, well, if I fight the Mughals in the America, then it's just going to be a really long session of fighting Mughals. Whereas if I defeat the Mughals in India, then that means that those territories become new countries and they become the United States. And, you know, it becomes a bit more interesting. So let's deploy my artillery to the rear. We're going to lob shells high over my line. We are just going to simply advance because the enemy doesn't really have any actual strength. This force is pretty depleted, but the only, the only reason we're fighting it is because it would cost us more men not to. All the artillery is going to be focusing on these 24 pounder foot artillery units. Didn't manage to switch these guys over to quick climb in time, but that's a lot of round shots coming in. Let's speed up time. We're not, again, we're not really looking to destroy. The army is so weak, they will probably break too quickly for us to have our cavalry in position. There's the artillery done. All my main guns engage the general's bodyguard to the rear. The howitzers just engage battlefield targets as and when. It's beginning to snow. The general's bodyguard is. Oh, he's in the mix. Risky behaviour. There go the Kizilbashi Musketeers, the bowmen are gone. This unit of Kizilbashi are likely to fail soon. But you guys should be focusing on the General's Bodyguard way back here. You have Dervishes down to five men strong. Yeah, understandably, they're not interested anymore. Let's switch my howitzers to round shot to prevent friendly fire from being too devastating. And let's get some... Yeah, those guys are going to rout, no problem. So you men chase down the bowmen. These men, these light dragoons, get ready to the south, although it looks like some of these units might actually start to run in this direction. Let's see if they, given that order, yeah, they don't they don't weirdly just suicide into the into the defenses. Yeah, we aren't. Well, this is the problem, as I say. We're not looking to completely destroy them. And it's like, yeah, but they are completely destroyed. So, considering I have so much cavalry, it would be foolish not to do it, right? So let's get you guys through the gap. You've got one unit, one musketeer unit to kill. Let's run you guys through the, ga the gap. Stop our artillery from firing as well. 
So there's one unit that might... Well, there's a couple of units that might try to run towards the spikes. So we killed the enemy general. You guys are facing off that unit of bows. You guys are facing that unit of musketeers. Where's those... Okay, don't worry about General's bodyguard. And there's a nice unit of dervishes that were worth killing. I think they've successfully managed to run. And you may as well chase down that unit of General's bodyguard. Oh no, you guys come back. There's a nice unit of bowmen to kill, and these guys have all routed very intelligently. So the bowmen... Yeah, well... I mean, if they don't route... Well, I was going to say, if they don't manage to successfully route, that is a epic fail on the AI's pathfinding there. There we go, 85 men for the destruction of an entire Here's army. So then we've got Armando... Arnaldo Freeze. Although, do I want to hit Vito, run Vito Sanchi into Ali Kachwaha? Because if he runs this way, we might be able to tie in the remnants of this battle in with the battle for, to kill these guys. Can Mr. Cardano leave Afghanistan? He can. Minus one is okay. So he's going to push here. So I might take Vito Sanchi and hit Ali Kachwaha. To destroy them, try and drive them east so they can be engulfed with this army here. Hopefully, that's the plan. Let us engage the Mughal forces. Just keep squeezing them and squeezing them and squeezing them. There's only so much juice in that Mughal Empire, especially now we've captured so many of their cities. Their recruitment capability is right down. So granted, we have to destroy the units they've already recruited, and the big cities can still recruit, you know, seven or eight units a turn, but they've not got so many of those. Not compared to what they used to have before we showed up. <laughs> so all my foot artillery might actually unlimber right there. Although that's not so great. You will advance. My howitzers will... Fire covering quick line from the rear. We will have our pikes support the guns particularly. So let's create two strong flanks protecting our guns. We've got our pikes right behind the artillery to protect them because we will be advancing up. We do want you guys to be on the forward side of the the hill. I mean, let's walk up like this for now. Aha! Quick climbing my pikemen, eh? Spread out the pikes. Got a unit of levy up here, eh? Let's bring up our heavy cavalry. I would like to try and destroy this force, especially as their guns are all limbered. That would be a lovely artillery target. Very well. Let's push two units this side of the, the hill. Well, the, most of our force to the side of the hill. It's got our cavalry to secure it. Unlimber the guns, where they can engage whatever targets they feel like engaging, and it will be these ones in particular. This clustered up artillery. Ooh. It should be particularly devastating because they are so combined together. Let's fire it when they fire. Slow mo. Oh, 
just missed his head. Oh, lots of... Oh, God, I killed all of their trailing teams there with one volley. Nice. Let's get back to the regular... Regular action. Let's advance these men on the right flank up to fire into the flank of the levy. So hopefully, well, these guys are in a position to pour fire into the left flank. Well, this flank. My, my right flank, their left flank. There we go. We could engage this unit of levy with the musketry before they hit our main line. So much so, we might actually push our line up slightly at an angle. Their artillery has been neutered to a point where I am not really bothered about it. Oh, you see, cavalry charges, elephant charge. I think my heavy cavalry is enough to deal with these pesky elephants. There's a large concentration of men on this flank, including dervishes. canister shot though has really brought the, the shrapnel shots really brought them to task and they've suddenly realised wait a minute ok let's get the pikes over onto the left flank because they are also massing here so who's the back? bowman and a general's bodyguard unit well my heavy cavalry here pretty decisively annihilated this general's bodyguard unit I think the commander of it is dead, so even though it's not the general general, it's still an important enough target. So let's take this unit and form up into a proper line. Let's get our pikes involved to push the flank. Same with my cavalry. Danger close pikemen. Field artillery engage unit of levy. Actually switch to round shot and engage the general's bodyguard at distance. Get the hussars to chase down that unit of bowmen. My heavy cavalry to charge into that unit of dervishes. Bring up pikes to support. Cavalry charge the bowmen. The artillery on the flank alone will be enough to provide support. The bowmen are falling thick and fast. There we go. So we're going to give our heavy cavalry some support against the dervishes. This bow unit's going down quick. Charge the pike, the bows, the uh, yeah, the charge the bowmen with my pikes. Let's get them involved. It looks like lots of these units on the flank are breaking. So let's get my heavy cavalry to engage the pikes as they continue to rout. Oh, my general's fallen against against bowmen. Bowmen of all units. Oh well. Yeah, there we go. They, the dervishes are cut down to an acceptable number. Let's pull my pikemen back because they are under fairly intense artillery fire themselves. Let's bring the pikes over to fight the bowmen here. Very well. You men engage the levy. First grenadiers are engaging the levy. Dear, oh dear. So let's bring them. Bring another infantry unit in to help them out. So we would like to kill. We'd like to break the levy while we can. Let's halt the fire here. We just lost a bunch of heavy cavalry. Yeah, because they are under attack. So we probably want to focus on the dervishes 
first. Let's advance up these men. Yeah, it's a bowman unit that's broken. The dervishes are also going down pretty quick. It's interesting to know, these bowmen have resisted our attacks quite well. So let's run my remaining general's staff through the through the gap, through the uh, the unit to try and focus on chasing down units that are currently routing. Yeah, those dervishes aren't going to be around for very long. And once my pikes have succeeded, they will then charge the levee on the flank. All my artillery cease fire. Very well. My general's bodyguard can chase down that unit of levee. The elephants are coming in. But the elephants are coming back. All my gunners target that general's bodyguard. 100 shillings to the man who can take off his head with the cannonball. Let's probably get my heavy cavalry over here as well. There we go, we got him. All my artillery focus on that last remaining unit of gunners. Then it's speed up time. Chiefly because it's just an artillery unit that needs to be destroyed. General's bodyguard men have all been killed anyway. Continue. Ceasefire. Make you guys form an actual line. Just so you don't shoot yourselves. So my hussars are over here. Well, they're over there. They're going to come back. Send them to attack some generic unit to the rear. It'd be quite the coup to kill this musket unit. Oh, my artillery is still engaging. Cease fire. Looks like you've killed them all. So you go after that gunner. You men sweep in to try kill the levy. That's exactly what these guys are going to try and do. Yeah, there is a time where it just. It, Okay, may as well just try kill the dervishes. They're all going to rout. There we go, the levy are going down hard and fast. Yes. It's an incredibly experienced levy man. And it's the last up, it's these this last handful of dervishes. As a melee unit, dervishes are they are nice to kill because melee units really disrupt the um, disrupt my formations. But at the same time, dervishes are kind of on the lower end of the quality on that side, so you're not so bothered about having them in the army anyway. Ha! It worked. Let's recruit a new man, Le Leonardo Buffon. Definitely not, but Mr. Buffoon. Pietro Cavotto, you are ready, so I'm going to send you. Also on a charge down towards this crossing point. But Arnado Freeze, you are, might actually auto those two armies because they're both pretty much destroyed. Slam. Good, so you're on the high ground. Let's push you guys up as well. Just to kind of box them in. There we go. So we've advanced we've advanced in strength towards the front. Yeah, you men get down to Basra. Uh, okay, let's get rid of an infantry unit. Because I think this is a cavalry unit. Yeah, there it is. Get to Batumi. Because Batumi is going to recruit a galley to bring you over to theatre. I mean, my priest is... Probably not needed here to convert. Well, it's not needed. To be honest, conversion isn't really a massive problem. Like Afghanistan are, are unhappy, but let's recruit a militia unit just to make sure. 
So we've brought some more privateers over to the East Indies. Good, and they all need one. They all need one privateer each. Good stuff. So this other fleet arrives, Francesco Castelli. Okay, first of all, you guys... You're going to go to Eastport. It's not ours yet, but I'm going to send them there anyway. This was Ennio Spinelli. Maybe you might be the next force to march into the jaws of doom. I'm going to continue my push against the Pueblo nations. They will not get away with slaughtering an army of his Catholic Majesty's troops. They will pick up a unit of mounted tribal auxiliary to scout the way ahead. And then the second rates can also go to Eastport. So I'm not going to read all these unit recruited again. I think I've got a bit of a... a it was a bugged end turn, so it's shown me every... Every possible recruited unit, although I have accident. Although that is interfering with... Okay. You know, lots of units recruited. But because it's all bug, I'm not going to read them all individually. Trait gained, good. Regions have been captured, which we know of. Heroic death, and we've also gained more traits. So the army's here in Cuba. They are actually nearly ready for the reinvasion. Let's repair this. So the army here at Nassau, you require an infantry unit to take their place, but I might just recruit an African musketeer unit. Okay, let's hop back over to India, because we'll get too bogged down in what's going on in the Americas yet. So, can this force out of Goa leave Goa? They can. So let's recruit a couple of units of militia. Because they could advance and hit this concentration of enemy troops here. And they are going to, to give us control over this central plain, especially as one of these armies is appears to have taken some attrition. Although I can't really see... There's no massive standouts for attrition. Hmm. I can't really work out which one it is. Oh, these two. Because uh, they're all... They all look up together. Oh, okay. oh it's this one. Because it's the Sea Quarry unit. It's down to 203. Okay. Either way, though. This will be a good victory. Because then it'll, it'll prime these armies next turn to jump on Hyderabad. So let's do it. Let's push through... The core, the heart of central India. And then, once, obviously, once we've finished all of our fighting, which will take a another episode or two, we will be ready to hit end turn again and push our front line into northwest India. Start to put Lahore under siege and start to attack some of the armies they've got rampaging around the countryside. So we do have... A question of where the reinforcements are coming in from. So I'm going to slightly deploy at an angle. Put my fusiliers and a unit of... Not a guardsman. Just regular line in the middle. Like so. So I've deployed... Yeah, one slightly off angle there. One. So the idea is they can... They've still got a firing arc, you know, straight ahead. Like, they've got, still got some left-hand capabilities but they're not pointing directly forward in case we need to fire off um, to the flanks Let's see some riflemen that can deploy on the flank there we go 
So I really hope, well, they shouldn't deploy behind us. But that, I've said that before. Yeah, there we go. So it makes sense. They One's coming in from the, the left, one's coming in from the right. Quick climbing how it's just hit the large mortars. Oh, I'm one gun team short. Because I'm a goon. Quick climb the mortars to try and destroy their crew. Reload to hit the 64th two-man, because it looks like they do. Okay, shrapnel shot them. Not quite sure who they're shooting. They're killing their own. The U-men engage the 64th. Ooh, some lovely shrapnel shots at close range. Quick, gunners. Turn the fuse layers fire it will off, because they might kill all my own gunners. Yeah, the mortars are now engaging. Potential, with potential devastating effect on my front lines, I might add. So I might be better off holding my tongue somewhat. So I've got my shrap got some shrapnel shot engaging the mortars. But I could push realistically. I think that's probably a wise idea. You men might have to fire round shot. Destroy them before the reinforcements come in. Bring my hussars up. You men engage the camel nomads. Because the large mortars are at risk here. I mean, how wicked would it be to secure the warehouse with my riflemen? Some great hits there. Let's push my fusiliers up, push up my guards. It looks like their response to my attack is to fall back. Point blank shrapnel shot there, that's never fun. Keep. Keep the artillery firing round shot because they're slowly getting out of range. So a couple of volleys and the large mortars should flee. Glad the camels are routing, but they will likely return. Actually, riflemen don't go straight in. Deploy squares, because the horsemen look like they're going to actually bump into us. Blasting these... They're hitting with a round shot, actually, the fusiliers. That's quite nice of them. So you guys should fire a volley, because you've how it's shots coming in because these guys were fire it will off but now they're fire it will on so they should pour a volley in I see the camels on the right flank deploy my engineers in the square because that's kind of the perfect outcome there So this artillery team I've run back, switched to round shot. Focus the my actual artillery fire onto the camels, or my, my howitzer fire onto the camels, to protect the right flank a bit more with some of my artillery. So 
who are they? Dervishes. All right, let's get this cavalry in to knock out the 24 pounders on that flank. Get this regiment of horse to push the left and knock out that 24 pounder on the left flank. Deploying to square in case they bump into you. Out of square immediately. Okay, Seek warriors, they're spooky. Well, not spooky, but you know, good. Look on my, oh, it's my um, infantry here, my cavalry here advanced in column. Do some damage to them, not looking to kill them. To make them go away and not come back, that's good enough for me. These might be a bit trickier, because they've got musketeers in tow, but then again they have actually switched to... Um, to limber up. There you go, so that's annihilated. Dervish unit. Let's push these guys up to the left side of the central position here. You men have knocked out the gunners, so let's get them back over to the centre to start to harass some of the enemy. And same with you guys, because you can see the dervishes are actually running in. So let's get my cavalry into the mix. To hit some of the troops more to the rear. So let's take two units to face off against the dervishes. These units pivot left. At not great speed. You men go after the dervishes. These guys are having a great time. Hindu warriors are a good shout. Run you men down the hill to continue to harass the dervishes. Might give them an extra unit for support. Not really bothered who I attack. Just mash these guys up. Because they're going to they're shoot us with shrapnel shot every chance they get. They really do just want to focus our cavalry, which you can understand. You then push up. Guardsmen secure the warehouse. These men push that way. You men push this way. You can understand to a degree why they're doing it. But that's why you just take your cavalry and just go fine. They'll stop playing. Or at least those ones will. Might actually just get my guards in to engage the Sikh warriors there. You men can position to fight against. Let's get all my. Well, they're all shooting at that unit up on the hill. Just keep on engaging with the rest of my forces. They seem to have got fixated onto this unit of horse guards now. Same with that musketeer unit. They've decided to stop. To stop and uh, face down my... Face down my cavalry. So these two units should beat the Sikh warriors. Let's 
bring this cavalry in, ready to smash this unit of dervishes because they're already upset. Should be fairly inevitable. They will rout under the charge of a heavy cavalry unit. See, it says they're, it says they're confident because they're charging, but for how long? Out the unit of Hindu warriors. There we go. Howitzers engage. Can't really engage. You guys get out of the way. There's lots of, lots of dervishes and other rubbish coming from over here. All these guys engage that unit of Kizilbashi. Pull the cavalry back ready to hit this dervish unit. Once we've knocked up this dervish unit, these two units can pivot to engage and destroy that unit of musketeers there. This force here is retreating completely so we can pivot to face the new... Well, we form the line. Dervishes have been just have been routed. So let's bring the cavalry back. There we go. So they've started to come back on this flank, but I doubt it will be a permanent decision. Lots of my howitzers don't really have a target anymore, but there we are. Actually, no, Regiment of Horse is a, is a good unit to have chasing them down. Dervishes, Levy, Bowman. Continue to attack and destroy. Pull the cavalry back to the main line. And again, this flank is starting to fall under musketeering artillery fire as they advance far too close for comfort. And I've got my rifle on the flank acting as sort of like snipers, picking off the stragglers as they push in. I mean, that unit of bowmen should not be long for this world. Let's bring my general in. But again, it's a case of just luring their troops into my lines. Although it looks like they want to make something of it, this lot. You men are locked on to this cavalry unit, which will have a grand time with that unit of dervishes because it means that these guys will have a grand time against these chaff units. Counter charge. They, they charge into me and suddenly, wait a minute, we've got a bunch of Italians charged into you, cavalry in the rear. All of you, except for the cavalry, advance to face down the Kizilbashi because it looks like they're not going to give up without a without a fight, as much as they maybe should. If you want to cut the edge off of them, no. That's a, nearly an entire dervish unit destroyed.
bring the cavalry back to that little temporary line I'm creating. This cavalry run away. Could almost feel artillery to focus on that unit there, and I'm probably going to start playing this on an increased time compression because, I mean, fundamentally they aren't going to stick around for too long. So you men fire at will on. We can bring our cavalry back around. Because that Kizilbash unit isn't going to last very long. Not against our musketry. Have you guys got no ammo? Well, you do. Slightly out of range. Let's push them up. There you go. You chase down those musketeers. You men push up against into the flank of these dervishes. Got a regiment of horse just here ready to deal with you. The bowman unit is also going down. So these cavalry won't do too much damage to that musketeer unit, but actually I might just get them both to attack the musketeer unit rather than having one of them charge the levy. You men counter charge the dervishes there. There we go. So yeah, fighting the, na the, um, the Indian factions can be a bit frustrating because sometimes they do just rout too quickly. Yes, we are going to continue. Take everyone bar my cavalry and just get out of the way. And there we go, just keep everyone else engaged in destroying the enemy. Come on, one last hussar. Charge at the dervishes, you men cease fire. There's only six of them. Knock them out. There we go. Then take my general's bodyguard and go after the general. Go after um, this Kizilbashi unit, although it's the last one on the on the um, the battle map, so they could well escape. But it remains to be seen. The longer they let my horde of cavalry get involved, the less likely they are to escape because the pathfinding issues will be resolved. There we go. Nice. So again, quite a significant action. But we have just blasted a hole through the centre of their army. 5,721 men lost. Falling back in disarray. So you men can probably... Well, do we need to garrison Mysore? Minus nine, even when taxed. Yeah, probably. Okay, so let's move. I don't want to do that yet, because obviously we've still got a load of fights up here to do as well. But what I'm going to do, because it is the end of the episode, is I'm going to go take my one of my kick-ass fleets to the north. Probably the strongest one, which looks like it's probably going to be... You, you can leave your raiding duties. Some of these fourth rates can break away. I might actually steal your second rate ship of the line. And do swapsies with a third rate ship of the line. Just add a little bit of extra gunnery. Then we're going to sail down and attack this Mughal navy. Because ultimately, remember, a lot of these ships... Well, a good chunk of these ships are actually damaged already. I mean, some of their good ships are in they're in good nick, but ultimately we've got plenty of firepower to take them out. Yeah, so their flagship is damaged. Second rate ship of the line is a bit damaged. I oh, know those are both good, in good shape. But ultimately, they've not really got many ships, but we want to fight it because we want to make sure they die and this army is destroyed. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So... 
Thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, I'll see you next time for a naval battle for once, something a little bit different. Cheers everyone.